So hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you another kitchen food haul. So Bella is currently nine months old, um, so she's almost a year old which is crazy. I'm actually getting her spayed in a week today. I've got some slightly different things to share with you this month so I can't wait to show you what I've got. I also apologise if the lighting is really crappy. Um, it's very overcast today and this is my last chance I can actually film this video so I don't really have a choice really. So hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. So I thought I would quickly uh, start off with like saying like what I feed her and how I feed her. So Bella is currently on a diet of wet food and dry food. She definitely gets um, less dry food than than she used to so um, I normally feed her when I wake up in the morning and when I get home from work in the evening but now I don't always have biscuits left out for her if she hasn't finished her wet food in the morning before I leave because sometimes she will just eat the dry food and like leave the wet food so what I tend to do if she has eaten all her wet food I'll give her the dry food um, to have throughout the day and then she gets her wet food in the evening if that makes sense and I also find that some days she's hungrier than other days uh, when she was a lot younger she used to completely finish her wet food um, and have her dry food during the day and then completely finish her wet food but over the last like two months I would say she's been a little bit more picky with her food and for that reason I actually stopped um, her blink subscription so I used to feed her two different wet foods untamed and blink they're both subscription based and she started going off the jelly flavors she was just not eating the jelly flavor so i'd have to mix like two different foods in um she kind of preferred the gravy flavors a lot more but recently she just hasn't been a fan of the jelly jelly flavors so um i finished off the blink subscription i've actually put that subscription on hold i might order it in the future because i was giving her the kitten pouches but she'll be an adult soon so i might try her on like the adult jelly flavors and see how she gets on with them because cat can be quite picky sometimes so for now i'm just feeding her on um untamed and dry food as her complete food um but if you guys are familiar with my like videos and you would know i also like to feed bella on complementary foods also so complementary foods are pretty much uh things like treats and there's foods that come in tins and pouches which a lot of people mistaken for being complete meals so you need to look at the back of the uh, labels to see whether it's complete or complementary so the complementary food i don't feed her that every day it's maybe like every couple of days i'll give it as a treat alongside her complete meal or sometimes i might swap out a complete meal for a complementary meal if that makes sense just to add some variety into her diet and the reason why you can't feed the complementary foods alone is because it doesn't have all the nutritional stuff that it needs that it needs to make it a complete Meal, if that makes any sense hopefully i'm making sense to you guys so i'll start off with her complete food first i'll show you what dry food she's currently on these are all the bits i've got for her this month so uh, this is the dry food i give her it's the nature's variety one and this is one of the best dry foods on the market um when it comes to getting food for bella i like to get really good quality food for her as you will see um so if you're looking for a good quality um, dry food that's not full of absolute crap then definitely go ahead and check this out. I might empty the pouches into this tin because I feel like these don't reseal very well so I've got this really cute little tin which I showed you guys last time and she's got some biscuits in there already so she goes for about um, two bags of the dry food a month roughly um so each bag has uh, 300 grams and this is um chicken flavor so she really 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 likes that and then we have untamed which is the wet food i feed her so it comes in tins so this subscription is about 30 something pounds a month and i get the smallest amount which is 28 tins um so i'll show you the flavors we've got so we've got chocolate chicken with ham this is one of her favorite flavors this time round, i ordered quite a bit more chicken than i usually would simply because um she's going off tuna a little bit and the reason why i didn't order that many of the chicken tins before as well is because when she was younger the chicken tins would actually give her diarrhea so i was only able to give her half but now she's able to stomach a whole tin because this is pretty much just pure chicken in gravy it looks and smells like chicken so this is actually um the chicken and ham flavor um this one here is the full-on fishy so it is uh mackerel tuna and sardines if i'm correct then we've got tuck in tuna which is just uh tuna 
in gravy and then this is just the pure chicken so this one is chocolate chicken in gravy they do jelly flavors also but the jelly flavors are just um complimentary and you can pick and choose how much of each flavor you want this month i think i literally just got two jelly flavors so i got a chocolate chicken in jelly and i got a chocolate chicken with duck in jelly so i'll just take everything out the box and then i will show you how much of each tin uh each flavor i got this month so i ordered one two three four five six of the tuck in tuna with shrimp five of the full-on fishy five of the tuck in tuna five of the chocolate chicken so this is the most i've ever ordered um of the chicken i normally just get like two but this time i've got five and then i've also got five of the chocolate chicken with ham and next time when i order i will increase the amount of chicken i get now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the complimentary food i've got for her this month this is obviously gonna last a very 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 long time i still have quite a few tins that i got last month so applause it's another one of my favorite brands their food is very similar to untamed food some of them are in jelly um some of them are in gravy or a broth and um yeah bella won't eat anything that's a pate or anything that's like strange chunky things in gravy she doesn't like anything like that and i tend to stay away from stuff like that because that tends to be like really cheap processed stuff i only like the good quality stuff and so does bella <laughs> So I'll start off with these tins because I have shown you these tins before. Um, this flavour is just chicken breast. She does like this. And then this is a new one. So this is chicken breast with duck. And I'm pretty sure she will like this because she has had uh, duck before. Then I picked up a couple of the pouches. I tried her on two of the flavours and she really liked them. So these are all in jelly. So we've got uh, chicken with lamb. So I got three of these. And then there's also chicken with beef. This one smells quite nice. It smells a little bit like corned beef, this one. So I've got three packs of this one. And then one that I haven't tried her on, but I'm pretty sure she will like it. So this is chicken breast with liver. She hasn't had liver before. Um, so that will be something new for her to try. Um, but that just looks like this. And then I got her some in gravy or in a broth as they call it. So this is chicken breast with wild rice in broth she really 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 enjoyed this and sorry if you can hear any background background noises and um, bella is on top of my makeup desk and she's moving my little plant around and then this one is chicken breast with asparagus i'm not sure she would like this um but it's, it's worth a try because she doesn't really have anything with vegetables in it so yeah i'll be interested to see if she likes it so i just picked up two of these lastly for complimentary this is something new that i have wanted to try for months and my work colleagues recommended this to me but we don't stock it at work and i happened to find it in sainsbury's when i was shopping with my boyfriend i think it was the last month so this is a brand called encore once again really good quality proper meat pieces so we've got chicken breast which is this one and then we've got um, tuna fillet with salmon. Um, but yeah, once again, these are just complimentary foods. Um, so I'll feed them the same way as I feed the applause food I just showed you. And I'll have to pick up some more bits from this range. So uh, when it comes to complimentary foods, I'm going to stick to encore and applause. And then something a little bit different. Um, I'm currently using one of them at the moment. So I won't start using the other one for a little while. And Bella, you cannot... You cannot stand, you cannot stand there. Um, so one thing that's really popular, I feel like it's more popular among dogs. Um, a lot of customers come in asking for it and that is salmon oil. And I got the big one with the pump. There is a smaller one and there's a, few, there's a few other brands as well, but this is just the one that we sell at work. So this is cold pressed um, salmon oil. So it's got like omega-3. Um, it's really good for the, um, it's really good for their joints, their skin, their coat and you just pump this into their food every day. I've been using this for about a month and it's gone down to here. I don't think I needed the big bottle because um, this only lasts for three months. Um, so next time, if I do repurchase this, I think I'll just get the smaller bottle. And then another thing I picked up, which I'm not giving her at the moment, I'm just keeping this for like the future, um, but it's just this Pet Probiotic 
so it just looks like this um, and this is for better digestion solid healthy stools to and reduced odor uh, glossy even coat and healthy skin maintains immunity and resistance so very similar um, to the salmon oil if anything this one does a little bit more and then lastly on to the treat so this one i'm really excited to show you guys because it's really good so um i popped two packs because i bought a pack a couple of weeks ago and i think there's only like one piece left so i had to restock so these are by a brand called trixie i have a lot of small animal stuff from them because i have hamsters too so trixie is one of my favorite brands and they do great stuff for like cats and dogs also so these are chicken tenders and they're basically little chicken fillets so you get four in a pack and they're not like freeze dried i don't know how to describe them uh, but it just says 100 percent chicken breast oh so they're boiled and then sealed um so what i usually do is maybe like once or twice a week i'll um cut one up for her and she loves this it's such a great um treat to give her a nice healthy treat what i forgot was the applause um fish sticks i'll quickly go and grab them from the kitchen so these are the applause um, whole tuna loins. These are great treats. So just like the chicken one, these are tuna. We also do a mackerel one at work, which I refuse to buy because I hate the smell of mackerel. But online, I've seen they do a salmon one and a beef one. So at some point, I'll get them. But Bella really likes these. This is a great um, treat to give, maybe like once or twice a week. And then I've got two treats to show you guys. So the first one um, are these ones, which I've been giving to her for like the last... Uh, I don't know, two weeks maybe. So these are the Vet IQ Healthy Bites Herbal Remedy. So I've had the breath ones before, um, but those ones are finished now. She is molting at the moment and I do brush her once or twice a day, most days, um, just because she is molting so, so, so much. So obviously she is ingesting um, fur and she is on a good diet, which helps to reduce hairballs. She hasn't had one yet. I'm supposed to give six a day uh, to prevent hairballs and to remove hairballs 10 a day. Um, and what I usually do in the morning before I leave out for work is I put them in her little treat dispenser just put them in there and she rolls it around and she has to work to get these treats out and then lastly I picked up some of these she's had this before but in a different flavour these treats are such good quality and they're 95% meat so this one is chicken turkey and pork and they're just they're just little chunks and she's gonna love these yeah I think that was pretty much everything really she's sort of just hovering around me thinking you've got treats and you're not giving me any i'll give you one of these bella because i know i know you want a treat but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and i will see you in my next video